In this Autodesk Fusion 360 tutorial, I'm going to show you how to quickly make a rectangular pattern. Here I have an interesting object that I made with the Revolve tool in Fusion 360, but now I'm going to make a rectangular pattern with it. There's an icon at the top for rectangular pattern, so if I click on it, it tells me some things I need to do. My object type is going to be body, and then what object? I'll go ahead and select this body. Then it asks for an axis. So I'll select axes, and in this case, I can go ahead and select the top axes. Then, all of a sudden, I get some interesting options. I have axes 1 and axes 2. So I have this direction and that direction. And what's nice is I can go ahead and pick this so it's going up. And then I can pick this one so it's going out like this. And then I get this interesting rectangular pattern of forms. And you can change the distance of these. So right now the distribution is extent. I can make it spacing. So instead of how far out it is, I have the distance in between each one. And then I can also increase the amount. So now going up, we have many more on this direction. And then you can also suppress them. So maybe you don't need as many in one direction. So now I can click this and then I can suppress certain ones that I don't need in my pattern. So maybe I want it to look like this, but I have a window or something there. And then, of course, you can also go symmetric or two directions. So now that's going symmetric, which is a lot of fun. And I'll go symmetric this way as well. And I'll press OK. So this is a simple way to make a rectangular pattern. This one was done in a vertical way. Often you'll do them on a flat horizontal plan. Let's go ahead and look at that. So now I have this other form, and I'm going to go ahead and select this whole body, and then I'm going to press M for move copy, and I'm going to move it over to the side here, and then I'll press OK. Now I have this body here, and if I click rectangular pattern, I can select it, but now it says axes, but the only axes I have, well, I could select this axis, and then that gives me the flat. So even though this isn't on the axes, you can still pick axes that are perpendicular or the direction that you want your pattern. So now I can pull this out this way, and then I can pull it out this way. And of course, you only have to go one direction. And then you can really increase the quantity. And right now it's on spacing. So now if I decrease this to, say, 300, they're going to get closer together. And so sometimes spacing is the way you want to go. And then other times you want to go to extent. So just how far it is. And what's really great is you can select certain distances that you know in your model, and then it'll go that way. So as you can see, these are going out in those two directions. And then, of course, we can add in a bunch more. And if there's not enough space, you can just pull this out. And then suddenly you have enough space. And you can see how quickly you can really create some interesting forms. So I'm going to press OK. And then you can see all these little nubs are right there in a row. So that's a lot of fun for creating rectangular patterns. What's nice is you can also do rectangular patterns of features. So you can make a pattern of a pattern, or you could make a pattern of a certain feature. So for example, let's go ahead and just create a simple box. So I'm gonna create a box, click here, and I'm gonna draw this box rather large so we can see it, and then I will pull this up. And I'll say, okay. Then we can make a simple hole by selecting this, and then we'll put our hole here, We'll move it over there, and then we're going to make the hole a bit smaller, and we won't worry too much about the placement. And then we'll say OK. There's other ways to make holes. I could have drawn a sketch and then extruded and made a cutting action, but here we go. Now I have this feature hole. So now I'm going to go ahead and create a rectangular pattern. It says object type, and so I could do faces, features, and I can also do components. In this case, I'm going to do features, and so what features? I'm going to select this hole. And then the axes, look at this. I can select the edge of this cube. I could select here. I think I'm going to select the bottom part right here. And then I can slide this hole over. And then I can slide this up. And of course, you can add many more in however you want. And then all those holes will go in and make a nice pattern. This can be really fun if you have a custom pattern. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to make a new cube because it's simple to make. And I'll click box. And once again, I'll click the ground plane. And this time we'll go right here. And then I'll pull this up. 
And this time I'm going to create a sketch right on the back of it and then move that over, zoom in a bit. And of course I can press P to project and grab that cube so I can see where things are. And let's just use a spline to really show this so I can make any feature that I want become a pattern. I'm going to finish the sketch. I'll press E to extrude. I'll select this form and then I'll make it go all the way through in a cutting action. I could also make this an embossed form. Uh, is a really neat way to do that. And so I'll press OK. And then I'm going to click Rectangular Pattern. Once again, I'll do Features and I'll select that extrude function down on the timeline. And then I'm going to select my axes right here. And then I can just drag these down if I only want to go one direction or if I want to go multiple directions, I can drag them over. And then you can see OK. And very quickly, I've created a pattern. So this is really a great way to add different features and interesting forms to your models in Fusion 360. So hopefully you can use the rectangular pattern tool in Fusion 360 to make interesting models and forms. Happy 3D modeling.